Okay, I'm doing video cards part two because, uh, you know, it's a lot to take in, and I think maybe I just went a little quickly over it. And uh, so I'm just going to do this one a little bit slower. I've got 10 minutes on this video. I can cover everything. Let's just start where I left off at. This video card right here, see how it's plugged into this orange slot right there? That is a PCI Express uh, X1 slot. So this is an X1 card that fits into an X1 slot. It's the same as this video card right here. See that little slot? See that little orange? Okay. Right above it is a PCI Express uh, X4 slot. Now you don't have to have an X4 card to fit into that slot. The way they were made was smaller can fit into bigger. And you know, it's not something I'm just getting to work. That's just the way they're made. And you can see, I can slap this in here. And see, it fits. And it works perfectly. There, there's absolutely no problem. And, you know, it'll even fit into this X16 slot. And it does. But something about it is just too loose. And it just, it never works. But I would suspect I could get this. What is it? I would suspect I could get, uh, you know, one of these X1 cards into an X8 slot um, and X2 for sure. So what I have is an X1 slot, an X4 slot, and an X16 slot. That's what my motherboard comes with. Motherboards come with all different kinds. You know, you can choose your motherboard uh, if you're building your own. I mean, some may have three of these and, and four of these, and, you know, they, they come in all different... Um, you know, flavors. Uh, but like I said before, you'll never get, and this is common sense, I know, but you know, you need to be specific. See see how big that is right there? I mean, that is an X16 card that fits into an X16 slot. Look how big that is. You're never going to get that to fit into this. Common sense, I know, but might as well go over it. Um... And that's pretty much it about the slots, you know. Um, smaller cards can fit. Now, this is PCI Express, okay? Um, PCI Express cards, smaller smaller cards can fit into bigger slots. Bigger slots cannot fit into smaller ones. An X8 slot or an X uh, an X4 card that was designed for this slot could fit into an X8 slot, which would be twice the size of this, I guess, you know, something like that. So anyway, that's uh, I just really wanted to go over that um, because I, I didn't know that uh, just up until about a month ago. And, uh, you know, some of you probably do know that out there, but I didn't. And so I figured I would just help out the people that had no clue. Um, and let's see. I've got time. We can talk about these these a little bit more, these cards a little bit more. You know, like I said, these are 2D cards. Uh, you know, you don't need 3D for trading. It's it will it does you no good. There's no extra added benefit. Um, and plus, I mean, they're all going to have to they're they're pretty much all be like this. You know, I mean, why not just uh, get something professional that can run two DVIs or or something like this that runs four DVIs? You know. Um, and as far as onboard memory, I don't know if this thing has any onboard memory, this gaming card. I, I really don't know. I, I would imagine it probably does. But uh, anyway, it's just it's just not what you need, and this is, you know. Also, uh, other manufacturers out there are uh, ATI, and they are the direct competition to uh, NVIDIA. Um especially as far as gaming cards go. Uh, you know, they make professional 2D cards. They do. Um, but from what I looked at, the, you know, they had older style memory in them. These are current, up to date. I mean, these are these right here especially are nice cards. Um, but, you know, if you wanted to... To mix and match cards, let's say, oh, you know, you said, you say, oh, I'll get a, an ATI that runs four monitors and, 
and uh, you know I'll get an NVIDIA that runs four monitors or an ATI that runs four and, and one of these that runs two and think it's going to work. It's not going to work. You're just not going to get it to work. These are not the same card, but they use the same drivers, NVIDIA drivers. This uses NVIDIA drivers too, but it's they're different drivers. They're not the same. So, uh, you know, uh, and, and if you if you want to go with ATI, you can check them out. It's ATI Fire MV Pro. They they make uh, two and four um, um, monitor cards that that are for professional setups. Also, Matrox. M A T R O X makes uh, professional video cards, but from what I read about them, you know, and and you know, it was expensive, and uh, you know, you can get on eBay and you can find older Matrox cards that run four monitors, monitors and run two monitors, but it's all old, and you can get them for like thirty bucks. They have like thirty-two megabytes of onboard uh, memory. I mean, it's just something you want to stay stay away from. You get what you pay for. Uh, so anyway. Uh, and again, can you game on these? Sure, you can play video games on these, but you know you're not going to get just mind-blowing performance out of these. It's never going to happen. Can you watch vi uh, movies on these? Yes, any day of the week. I do all the time. Uh, you know, I surf the net on these. I I watch YouTube videos on these. I, I do everything on these. Um, but just the perk is I day trade, and this is what I needed. So. Uh, I think that pretty much covers um, video cards. And I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I can throw out there. You know, uh, I think that's about it. Again, you never get a VGA to run off of this. You can get VGA to run off these. And the thing about the, uh, this is, if you think you're going to get this and run two VGAs off of it, it came with two VGA splitters, two VGA uh, adapters is what it is. And I could, maybe it's just my computer, but I could not get two VGA um, cards to run off, uh, two VGA monitors to run off of this card. It had to be at least, uh, or it had to be two DVI, or it had to at least be, you know, one VGA and one DVI. And that's, that's all, that's the best I could get out of these. So you can't get VGA to run off of these, but... Uh, Let's see, that's that's about it. Okay, so next we're going to get into uh the inside of the computer and show you uh show you the video cards in action, the uh in action, I guess. Yeah, and uh show you the uh CPU, memory and power supply. The most important things that you need to know about uh making a uh uh trading computer or what to look for in a trading computer. Okay, all right, we'll see you in the next vid.